Hey guys, welcome to the latest Z Code System video here on YouTube. Drew speaking, and it's great to be back here with you. And today we're going to take a look at some picks for the upcoming round of Premier League matches, which are going to take place over the weekend, match day 28 in the Premier League. Of course, you can always go over to Z Code System, check out the blog, and get up to date on all the picks that we post there. And you can see there we've got some different articles going on. And scroll down, we've got uh, articles, um, picks last week for the match day 26. And as well as we have an article about Liverpool, will they finish in the Champions League positions? They're struggling this season and uh, currently outside those Champions League positions. And of course, you can always find picks for the NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball as it's coming back and other great blogs there. And of course, check out our YouTube as well, because you can find, of course, if you're already watching here on YouTube, you can find... Uh, a wealth of videos that we post every week, such as our picks for various sports leagues, such as the NBA or Premier League, and a recent video that uh, was posted on the Major League Baseball upcoming season, which you can get up to date on everything that's going to happen this year before it actually happens. So, guys, thanks for tuning in and watching, and let's take a look at those picks for this weekend's matches in the Premier League. Okay, so of course I am using the Soccer Buddy tool here on Z Code System. This is a great tool to use, and it's one that I show off every time I do a video for the Premier League here on our YouTube channel. So you can always go over there and get up to date on things very quickly and very easily, and get uh, get some great tips for your picks going forward in the Premier League. So we're going to take a look at these four games that are going to take place on Sunday. Now I'm going to put a little bit of a caveat between or beside some of these or. Uh, asterisk besides some of these because I'm coming to you on Thursday afternoon. We're a few days away from these games going on and a few of these teams are going to be playing tonight in the Premier League. So um, I'm not focusing on those games. I'm focusing on the games this weekend. So we're going to take this, uh, take this with a little bit of a grain of salt because teams such as Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur will be playing tonight in the division. Uh, but I wanted to give you some picks already so you've got plenty of time to lay your money down and to get ready for the weekend. Now, uh, the game I actually want to start with first is the game there at the bottom, which is the Manchester United versus Manchester City game. This is a massive derby between the two teams, and this is the a game between the top two teams in the league. Manchester City are in first place, and Manchester United are in second place, and these two teams are going in very different directions. Manchester City are playing brilliantly. Um, they are unbeaten in their last six games in the Premier League. All six games were wins. Um, if, if my numbers are correct, they are on something like a 20-game unbeaten run in all competitions, and um, they are looking great. The Premier League trophy is within touching distance. They are dominating the league, and just like last year, we saw Liverpool run away with the league. Manchester City are doing that this season. Now, Manchester United, um, a lot of people expected them to really challenge in the second half of the season for the title, uh, but we've seen them really, really fall off the pace. This is just a team that's not good enough. The quality is not there, and I've talked about that on my um, on my own YouTube page, just talking about Manchester United and, and football in general. And you can go over to my uh, my YouTube page to check that out, where I talk about uh, just football in general. No betting, just football. Um, but uh, Manchester United have just really slipped up uh, over the last two months, really, they're, they're continuing to slip up. They're not losing games. They're just drawing games. Uh, they've drawn four games in their last six, and they just don't have the quality uh, throughout the team to to win a title. They're not as good as Manchester City, and I think that they're not necessarily as good as teams such as Chelsea. Um, they're not necessarily better than Le uh, Leicester City or Liverpool, but they were able to pick up some timely wins against teams that are very poor and um, you know pick up some draws against some of the better teams. But I really think you're going to see Manchester City really fall off the pace uh, in the next month, month and a half, and potentially I could see them falling out of the top four and uh, missing on Champions League qualification. They're, they're currently in the Europa League after they failed to progress in the Champions League group stage. Uh, so right now, things aren't looking so bright and cheery there at Old Trafford. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's team are coming off of a nil-nil boar draw against Crystal Palace uh, in midweek. Manchester City, on the other hand, thrashed Wolverhampton Wanderers 4-1. So there's really no team that I can see winning this game other than Manchester City. Uh, they're playing too well right now. And you may think that because they're winning right now, so uh, they're winning games, they're consistently winning games, and they're playing very well, you would think that they could maybe put several goals past Manchester United, but I actually don't see that happening. Uh, they've played twice already this season, once in the Premier League, once in the Carabao Cup. 
And uh, in that Carabao Cup game, we saw Manchester City win 2-0. Uh, both goals coming in the second half. In that Premier League game, we saw a very boring 0-0 draw. Uh, so I'm not expecting a lot of goals in this game. I like that 1-0 scoreline, potentially a 2-0 scoreline uh, for Manchester City to win and to inflict a defeat on Manchester United. And that would allow the teams below Manchester United to pull a bit closer. So I'm backing Manchester City in this game to get a narrow win and uh, to win to nil with under 2.5 goals. I think that's what's going to happen in this game. And um, I think that's uh, what we're going to see in the Derby this weekend. Um, just real quickly, I didn't turn on the hot trends. Um, if you use the the Soccer Buddy tool, you'll be able to f- click on the hot trends. And not always will you find um, the hot trends. They usually come up uh, just underneath here, uh, just underneath here. But uh, so not all games will have hot trends. So uh, you can always flip that on and uh, check that out whenever you're using the Soccer Buddy tool uh, on the different leagues. So uh, again, there's no hot trends right now, but uh, you know if you looked at the sixth or the eighth, uh, the games on those days, you might be able to find that. All right, let's take a look at the game just above that, then Crystal Palace taking on Tottenham Hotspur. Now Tottenham Hotspur do play tonight, uh, Thursday night in the Premier League, and they're gonna play Fulham. So we're just gonna um, not necessarily focus on that game. We're gonna just kind of look at this uh, Crystal Palace versus Tottenham game. And, you know, we've got a 1-0 scoreline prediction here for Tottenham versus Crystal Palace. Now, if we go back to December when these teams last played, Tottenham uh, were were near the top of the table. They were fighting it out with Liverpool. This this was back, I mean, just a couple of months ago. We were thinking Tottenham and Liverpool were going to be the two teams duking it out for the Premier League title. How things have changed in just a short time. But at the time, Tottenham were fighting it out uh, with Liverpool. Um, they were trading places first and second. And at the time, Spurs were really, really, you know, playing well for the most part. Um, they have entirely fallen off the pace uh, since that time. Jose Mourinho is, in my opinion, he's he's past it, if you will. Um, his tactics and his management uh, are not of the current times, and his man management is, to me. Uh, just poor, and um, he makes enemies of players, and 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 he doesn't get team players to play for him uh, anymore. His, his his style tactics to me are um, antiquated at the moment. And uh, reports in February were that Tottenham are already making a plan of when to a uh, timeline plan of when they are going to sack Mourinho, and I could see him going this year. Now Spurs do have a chance of winning a trophy. They're going to be in the Carabao Cup final in April against uh, against Manchester City. That is. Um, if they lose that, they get eliminated from the Europa League and they finish outside the top five in the Premier League, I think Mourinho will be gone. And I think they'll be starting fresh again uh, with a new manager. Uh, now, again, Crystal Palace and Spurs going at it this weekend at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Crystal Palace able to get a 1-1 draw the last time they played. Uh, some fantastic saves from goalkeeper Vincente Goeta uh, in that game to get Crystal Palace that result. Now, 1-0, I think this could be a very low-scoring game. Spurs aren't playing the best of football right now. They're going to be coming off of a Thursday night match against um, against Fulham, and then they're going to be going into the Europa League the next Thursday. So a lot of fixtures coming up, a lot of congestion. Crystal Palace, they're playing one game a week for the most part, two games a week uh, if, if uh, the Premier League are, are playing twice a week. So they're not necessarily having that same fixture congestion. And I can really see Crystal Palace getting a result out of this game. I can see this being a 1-1 game. In the end, uh, a lot will depend on fitness of players. Crystal Palace always have a lot of injury issues. Um, there, uh, Roy Hodgson seems to always want to keep a, a long line of injuries. And, and Wilfred Zaha, their most important, most influential, most influential player, has been injured for the mo- uh, over the last couple of weeks. So, you know, if he doesn't play or he does play and doesn't have a big impact, um, I can definitely see Crystal Palace losing points. But again, Palace did draw nil nil with Manchester United. Uh, in midweek. So could we see another nil-nil draw? Perhaps. Um, But again, I could also see a 1-1 result here or a Spurs win. So I'm really picking a Spurs win or a draw in this game uh, on Sunday. Now, looking at Newcastle United and West Brom, this is a huge game. This is a six-point affair. And what do I mean by a six-point affair if you're not familiar with that phrase? Well, this is a game in which uh, if the winner will pick up a big three points and the loser will have such a massive 
uh, loss of three points, that this is going to really affect their chances at Premier League survival. Two teams down near the bottom of the table. West Brom are in 19th place. They are in the relegation zone. Uh, six points, I believe it is, that they are back behind Newcastle United, who sit just outside the relegation zone. Newcastle United have been absolutely terrible. Uh, winless in their last three games, I believe. And they go into this game uh, really struggling under manager Steve Bruce. I don't rate Steve Bruce as a Premier League manager. I don't think he's good enough. And I see definitely Newcastle United getting relegated this year. Um, and to be honest, they've been bad enough to be relegated. The crazy thing is that there have been times when Newcastle United have been really, really good and fun to watch. And there's been other times when they have just been absolutely horrid uh, and absolutely rotten to watch. Uh, unfortunately, they've got some injury issues. Two key players, Callum Wilson and Alan St. Maximine, are both suffering from injuries. Um, neither are going to play this weekend as it stands. So that's a huge blow to the team's attack. Um, West Brom are a mixed bag. They're terrible. <laughs> they're terrible for the most part. But actually, they are picking up some points uh, over over the short term, over over recent weeks. They're picking up points. Um, Sam Allardyce, former Newcastle United manager, um, he's never been relegated as a manager from the uh, it, it, during a Premier League campaign. And I could really see him pulling out a result. We've got two one there score prediction with West Brom, and I absolutely, I absolutely can see that happening. Um, I think Newcastle can go the, uh, to, to West Brom, to the Hawthorns, and just absolutely crumble. Um, I don't think there's going to be a lot of motivation. The confidence is, is low. And I think West Brom will take them by surprise. I, and I can definitely see West Brom picking up a 2-1 win in this game and um, edging closer to the Premier League survival. Now, in between Newcastle United and West Brom in the table is Fulham. And Fulham have been playing great, actually, um, uh, in recent weeks. They're picking up a lot of draws. That's their biggest issue, is that they're not turning draws into victories. And we saw back in December, Fulham picked up a 1-1 draw against Liverpool at home. And that was a shock result because they played an outstanding, uh, they played outstandingly uh, on the day. But it also was around that time that we started to see Liverpool really start to to slip up and to play really poor football. Um, they've not been good. They've not been good at all. And it's really a shame. You can see I'm wearing a Liverpool shirt right now. Uh, I support Liverpool. Um, they since since around that time of that Fulham game in December, late November, we've really seen Liverpool just absolutely capitulate. Um, they're outside the top five right now. Uh, they're chasing Chelsea and West Ham uh, to try to get into that top four and qualify for the Premier. Uh, excuse me, qualify for the Champions League next season. And to be honest, right now, even though they're coming off of a win the other day against Sheffield United uh, and they're playing Chelsea on Thursday night, that's a huge game. I don't see Liverpool necessarily making the top four at the moment. I think they're that bad. And we saw Liverpool win the first leg of their last 16 Champions League match against uh, RB Leipzig the other week. And the scoreline, the 2-0 win, really flattered Liverpool because they didn't create much. They were actually quite poor in attack. And to be honest, Leipzig should have scored two or three goals uh, in that game. Liverpool, the scoreline flattered them. And a lot of people praised their their performance and praised what they did. But to be honest, if you were watching closely and you're, you're, you're a hardcore fan, you would have seen that they weren't necessarily as good as um, they were made out to be on the day. And to be honest, in the, in the second leg fixture, Against Leipzig, I could see Leipzig coming back and at least uh, drawing level at some point uh, on the aggregate score. But I digress. That's the Champions League. We're talking about the Premier League. Um, Liverpool, there, as you can see, they're going to be playing at home at Anfield, where you know they've actually lost quite a few games. They're playing Chelsea there tonight, um, and, and I think a lot of you know what will happen tonight against Chelsea. I, I don't know. If, I don't think Liverpool can win tonight against Chelsea. I think that that might be a score draw, uh, nil nil draw. We might see that. Um, happen. And I think what happens in the game tonight against Chelsea uh, could really impact what we see against Fulham. <clears throat> now, Fulham, again, like I said, draw masters at the moment, at picking up a draw earlier this season against Liverpool. I could see them playing very inspired football and picking up a draw against Liverpool because, again, in my opinion, Liverpool have been just so utterly bad lately. Um, could we see a, a draw? Yes, of course, we could see a score draw. Uh, could we see Liverpool pick up a win? Yes, absolutely. That's the wild card that Liverpool are right now in the Premier League. I think we could see a win or a draw. Um, my heart says Liverpool win, right? My heart says that Liverpool are going to pick up a win. My head says be a bit cautious, but uh, you know they should go ahead and win against Fulham at home. But again, 
I did draw with Fulham previously. They have lost quite a few games at Anfield over the last month, month and a half, um, and could lose tonight against Chelsea. Um, but again, I think that's going to be a, a draw. Um, so, guys, those are my picks this week and the picks from Soccer Buddy going forward for Match Day 28 in the Premier League. Guys, as always, go over to Z Code System, check out the tools that we have there, sign up, and get all of those tools to help you make educated sports bets. And of course, go over to the blog, read up on everything that we post there, check out the picks. And of course, on YouTube, you can watch the videos to stay up to date on everything that we post. Um, we post things on picks, we post things on education, we post things on all kinds of uh, on kinds of topics at the YouTube channel on, on betting. So check that out. And of course, please like and subscribe to the channel, like the video and subscribe to the channel, that is. And uh, comment below, let us know what you think and who you're betting on this week and what game you're looking forward to. So guys, thanks for watching. It was good to be here again with you this week and we'll see you soon here at Z Code System.